Alrighty, welcome to the beginning of the year for Algebra 1 at the Grower School. We're going to go through some quick videos at the um, at the night before each lesson, and you're going to take notes on the vocabulary and maybe problem-solving tips. You don't have to copy everything down, but you do want to start your notes page and at least copy down all the vocabulary words. That way, when we get to class, you have an idea of what's going on. And we can go through the notes more quickly, and then you'll be able to work on homework in class. So here we go, Chapter 1, Expressions, Equations, and Functions. So first topic up is 1.1. So what I recommend maybe is actually you just kind of pause the video and copy these down. I'll briefly go through and talk about them, but I uh, I won't stay on the slide long enough for you to copy them down, so probably press pause and copy them. So the first thing is a lot of vocabulary words for variables and expressions. In algebra, we're going to be translating between sentences and equations a lot, so it's important to know that a term in an equation, so it's important to know that a term in an equation is any number of variable or product or quotient. So what this means is a term could just be the number 5, or it could be 3x, or it could be um, 3m squared, or it could be 2 over x. All of these are terms. But if you have something that's more than just um, a product or quotient of numbers and variables, then it's not a term. So for example, 3 plus x, this right here is not a term because it has a sum of two different terms. In fact, this is two terms. It's called a binomial for two. Next up, algebraic expression. One or more terms added or subtracted together. So um, all of these are algebraic expressions. These first four are all just called single terms or monomials, and this one here is called a binomial. Okay, the next thing is a variable. It's any symbol that we use to represent an unspecified number or value. What that means, it doesn't mean that we don't know or can't know the value. It just means we haven't specified what it is. So sometimes a variable could have a lot of different values, sometimes it has only one value, but we use a letter, usually, uh, to represent that value in an equation. Okay, factors is the next uh, vocabulary word. This is a set of numbers which you can multiply together to get a given result. So you've probably learned in pre-algebra or elementary school how to do a factor tree for numbers. So say, for example, you have, um, I don't know, 20. And you can break 20 down into 5 times 4. And then you can break 4 down into 2 times 2. So you would learn that the factors of 20 are 2 squared times 5. So a factor tree is just factoring. Um, but in Algebra 1, we're going to learn how to extend factoring to include variables and not just numbers. Okay, here's some more vocabulary words. A product is just the multiplication result. So if you multiply two things together, the answer you get is called a product. A power or exponent, um, and the base. These kind of go together, so let me write it like this. So you have a base, which is any number or variables, and that's raised to some power. So the power or exponent is up here, and it tells you how many times you've multiplied the base times itself. So for example, if you had 5 to the 4th, that's 5 is the base, 4 is the exponent. This would mean 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So you've multiplied the 5 by itself 4 times, because the exponent was 4 and the base was 5. And lastly, for vocab, is the coefficient. It's a numerical value in front of variable or expression. So if I have 3x squared, this is my coefficient. This is my coefficient. It's just the numerical part in front. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. If I could have negative 2x to the third, the negative 2. So the coefficient could be negative. That's my coefficient. All right, let's do a couple of examples, just kind of using these vocabulary words and translating back and forth. Uh, you do not have to copy these down in your notes. You're welcome to if you want to, uh, but as long as you've got all the vocabulary copied down, that's all you'll need for your notes uh, coming into class tomorrow. So write sentences from given algebraic expressions. So if we have something here, this says 3x plus 8. Well, x represents any number. So if we were to write this, we would say, uh, this is hard because I have to type it out, 3 times a number. So 3 times a number, that represents the 3x. And then how do we do this? We say added to 8. Ah, added to. Sorry, my messy handwriting because I'm using a mouse. So 3 times a number added to 8. 
that's how we would write that as a sentence. Okay, how about this one? This is five times n to the fourth power. So this would be a product because we're multiplying. In order to multiply, we're multiplying five, a product of five. And so this is a number multiplied by itself four times. You know what? I'm not going to write that to save you time. So right here you'd say uh, a product of five and this part here is a number multiplied by itself four times. Okay? Examples now doing the opposite. So write an ex uh, when given an English sentence, write a mathematical expression. Four times the sum of a number and five. So it's a product, four times something. So four times something. And what are we multiplying by? We're multiplying the sum, which is adding a number and five. So a number might be x, and we're adding it to five. So four times the sum, here's our sum, of a number and five. Eight subtracted from the product of three and a number. So we're going to subtract eight from something. So we're going to subtract eight. What are we subtracting it from? A product, which is multiplication, of three and any number. So we could go three x, or we could go 3 times n, or something like that. So 3n minus 8. Are these parentheses necessary? Actually, they're not necessary. Um, but if you want to put them there, you can. We'll talk about PEMDAS uh, coming up. That's all there is to this video. I hope you got some good notes on the vocabulary words at least, and anticipate coming in tomorrow ready to go.